Welcome to our first computer science problem solving tutorial. So, so far we've actually been looking at data representation, which is this topic here, where you guys have looked at binary, you've looked at deanery, and you've looked at how to convert them, as well as what they're all about. Today you're going to be starting problem solving. We are not done with data representation, there's still more we're going to learn, but I'm going to throw in a new concept problem solving where we're going to be looking at computer systems so that is what we're going to be doing today problem solving what are computer systems let's rock and roll a computer system is made up of lots of different things what we're going to do now is have a look at what makes up a computer system so without further ado the first is software like apps you have on a phone or on a computer your email, that'll be music apps, that'll be web browsers, that would also be things like Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, your Google Chromes, but also games such as your Call of Duty, FIFA, Assassin's Creed, Fable, great game by the way. That's your software. It's not physical, it's virtual. You can't physically touch it. It's on your computer. So that's the first thing which makes up a computer system. The second thing which makes up a computer system is hardware. Things what you find inside a computer, the parts, the chips, which make a computer system work. But also, hardware is things what you can plug into a computer, like a printer, a scanner, a mouse, anything physical which impacts a computer system. So you've got software, you've got hardware. Now let's look at the third. The third thing is communication, such as the internet. Now, the internet is a whole range of different things. It could be going on web pages, it could be using apps, it could be streaming music, it could be uploading images onto something like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. It could be communicating and sharing information and news like Twitter. The internet is huge. Have a look at all these different icons. Now you'll notice, oh, you've got Spotify there, I didn't even see Spotify, right in the corner. You'll notice that there's a few things missing. And also, let me just zoom in a bit. Actually, that's too much. You'll notice that there's things such as Bebo, which isn't around anymore, MySpace. Wow, that's old. You can probably ask your parents about MySpace and Bebo. Really old. But you get the gist. The internet's more than just web pages. Skype. Lots and lots and lots of different things. But that's all to do with communication. So you've got three things we've looked at so far. Software, hardware, communication. All of these things make up computer systems. And finally, the final component is you, is us, the people. The people who are gonna use the computer system. Your gran, your granddad, your mum, your dad, your little brother, your little cousin, your little nephew. Users of it, but also not just users, Oh, easy tiger. But also, for programmers, for people who make the software, for people who make the computer systems, their users, business managers, business owners, they're going to be users. So not just your family, anyone who uses a computer system, the women who work, or the men who work in shops, the people who work behind the till in McDonald's, they're using a computer system. So it's people. That's the final component.